program and for yourself, getting a team, you've gotten here before and kind of knocking on that door, is there, uh, obviously if there was a formula and you, you knew it, you'd have already taken care of it, but <laughs> what do you try to control to try and improve the chances of, of getting past this, this point? Well, the, you know, a couple things. Um, I haven't talked to Coach Summit yet, but I'm going to. Um, and I have talked to several coaches uh, about what things that they do. Um, what, what I've always done is, is try to be somewhat consistent. We lifted this morning, just like we always do on Monday morning. That didn't change. Um, and, um, but they're going to be, we'll do, a, 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 there'll be a, a couple of things in the practice this week that'll be a little unusual, it'll be a little different to keep it light, keep it lively. Um, our team has been playing to make history all season long. Um, we've made a little bit of history with, with some, you know, defeats, uh, some big wins. Um, and uh, this team is one win away from going someplace that no Tennessee basketball program has ever gone. Um, every one of us would like to have our name on that accomplishment. And so uh, um, every team in this field has got great motivation. Kansas is obviously out of the regional, the top team in the country. And so Ohio State is sitting there going, we got to get by Tennessee, Northern Iowa, and Michigan State to go to the Final Four. I'll take that. Northern Iowa's going, we've already beaten the best team in this regional. We got to get by Tennessee, Ohio State, and Michigan State to get to the Final Four. I'll take that. And we've got to look at it the exact same way. We're two wins away, you know, from going to the Final Four. And we've, we've uh, when you've won 26 or 27 games, winning two more is something. Uh, we've, we've won two games on weekends before, and I, I want to try to approach it, at least right now, that way. Uh, Coach, again, I haven't talked to Coach Summit yet, and um, I'll be interested in this, you know, see what her thoughts are. Coach, you were asked um, right after your win about the Sweet 16. You've been to it, I guess, what, three out of the last four years. And you immediately said, what about me in the Elite Eight? Is this not getting the Elite Eight? Do you feel like that's a monkey on your back? You, you didn't accept the compliment. You almost turned it into, you know, yeah, but I've never made the Elite Eight. Is that something that just weighed on you a little bit? No, but it would be if we, if we, uh, if it, if it continues, it'll be a great problem to have if, if, if every year I can't get my team from the Sweet 16 to the Elite Eight. It's like when Mike Krzyzewski, you know, got to the Final Four every year but couldn't win the National Championship. That was a real burden. Um, what a crutch to bear. So, no, I'd, I'd like to try to, uh, I want to go one, I want to go where, and, and, and get this program where it hasn't gone before. I, I want that. Um, I want to do something to continue to build, build our history. Um, I think most likely what happens is when you get to this point, you know, the teams that you're facing, um, uh, Ohio State, you know, uh, played for the national championship. Um, and finished second. When uh, when I got was I was Wisconsin Milwaukee my last year we played Illinois, and they played North Carolina for the national championship. And I thought two years ago Louisville, if they hadn't run into North Carolina in the regional final uh, in Charlotte, was a team that was good enough to get to the final four also. So it's not like we've stubbed our toe. Um, and we're playing the fifth best team in the country here. So. Um, Unless you make it into some kind of an issue, I don't think it'll be. Uh, I don't think it should be too big an issue. 